Hi hey everyone, this time I'm back with a short video review on subwoofer amplifier, amplifier based on TPA3118. I've purchased uh, three of these boards as of right now. This is the third one. I'm using them to convert passive subwoofers into active subwoofers. Uh, the board comes packaged into into a cardboard box with some uh, foam filler looks like that nothing special but it gets the job done about it's uh, about the boat itself as you can see you can connect uh, the speakers but you can also connect the subwoofer here uh, the board uses two TPA 3118 amplifiers uh, and uh, the voting stock comes without these uh, heat sinks. I've glued them because uh, because I like to be on the safe side. Uh, the TPA 3118 should be uh, giving health and using uh, PCB board as a head sink, uh, but it doesn't hurt to give some additional cooling properties. So, getting back to this side. The board is uh, about 10 per 11 centimeters, centimeters uh, wide and height. Uh, it doesn't come with uh, screws, so you need to get uh, your own ones. Uh, the mounting part here is uh, lined with uh, a kind of foam, uh, which actually works nice uh, to dampen the vibrations and to seal um, the, mm, the hole that you'll be mounting the amplifier into. And uh, as you can see, uh, one of the amplifiers is used uh, for connecting external passive speakers, but to be honest, uh, it's uh, such a low quality that it doesn't make much sense to use it for that. Uh, instead of that, uh, I always prefer to set the switch to subwoofer output only. So mm -hmm. I'm using this basically only as a subwoofer amplifier. Uh, the power source should be external power brick with voltage in range between 15 and 22 volts. And uh, they are very cheap because you can uh, use uh, any type, almost any type of uh, notebook uh, power source. Uh, here's your line inputs and line outputs if you'd like to pass the signal uh, further away to some other equipment. What's very nice about that particular amplifier and the reason why I'm buying uh, the third piece of this amplifier uh, is that uh, I can set not only the subwoofer volume but I can also set a crossover point. And, uh, the scales here says uh, it's between 30 Hz and 150 Hz and uh, I think that's about right uh, because I was checking this uh, with uh, one of my big subwoofers, uh, Boris and Wilkins ASW610 XP I think is the model number I've disconnected the original uh, subwoofer board and tried to use this one to uh, drive that speaker and uh, it was going uh, as low as with uh, a regular uh, power board for that uh, Bowers & Wilkins subwoofer. So this is a very nice thing to have it here. The main volume is for setting the volume with speakers, so I'm not using it. Uh, and uh, this is a power switch. Uh, you can leave it on all the time because it goes into automatic standby uh, when used uh, when not used after some time. About the board itself, as uh, you can usually see this uh, in the descriptions of uh, auctions or offers on AliExpress, uh, it's divided into four separate areas: uh, preamplifier power amplifier, power input, and channel selects. Uh, this is a nice feature, nice to have. Uh, the port itself looks uh, designed well. It's very uh, clean and tidy. Uh, these white silicone pads uh, 
not pads. Silicon glue is used to dampen the vibrations uh, on capacitors. So all in all, I can only recommend this one because uh, it's, it does its uh, job well. As an amplifier, no, don't use it as an amplifier. Anything will be better than this one. But subwoofer amp uh, is fine. And what I like about it uh, is the fact that it comes uh, not as an external device, uh, but as a complete package along with metal mounting part. So you only need to drill a hole in your passive subwoofer, mount the plate, and you're good to go with your new active subwoofer. Uh, about the cost, I think it's about $50, a bit less than that, so a good deal in my opinion. Okay, this one will be without a sound demo, and maybe when I'm done uh, converting, uh, let's move this, yes, you can't see that, but that's Passif Yamaha subwoofer which is about to become active Yamaha subwoofer. So, have a nice day. Bye guys.